All right. I mean, it has to be boom, boom, ah. I mean, if you're playing a set, the two and the four. Exactly, 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 been around to see the transition of music where we used to have live instruments and bands and stuff like that and then when technology came it kind of wiped everything away I'm a big fan of technology and I'm also a big fan of live music and one of the things I think that BTS does that I'm really excited about is that they blend the two together just like music brings people together BTS seems like they're in pop music seems like they're bringing that back. One should never replace the other. They should always be used to enhance and to bring together. And I think that BTS is leading in that field. And that's why, I, that's one of the things that made me really excited about working with them. They cover issues like mental health and bullying. I think that's what really sets BTS apart. Hear that music? They're so People popular. Love it's BTS. ridiculous. They're getting ready to rock the crowd. We're going to be seeing that all over social media. Do you know BTS? Yes. Are you coming here? Yes. <laughs> the Billboard Music Awards, I would see them. <laughs> That's when I knew like how much of an impact they're making with their music. Even friends that I've talked about and, and even my own kid when I have said, hey, I'm going to be doing a, a recording session down at the Echo Bar for BTS. Really? BTS? What? Really? Because originally when we had been reached out to, it was like, hey, it's a secret band. And then when I saw the music, I was like, I freaked out, like jumping around the room. We get to do so much as entertainers and artists, but it's rare to get to work with living legends. I mean, they are young, but they're still, at this point, living legends. Yeah, you know, I like, I like uh, you know, what they're doing and the, the rapping and the singing and, you know, the messages, they're positive. I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was, and for who I hope to become. So, you know, that's what I like about them. I think getting to contribute to um, their message as a band is really cool. Uh, future studio guys, right here. <laughs> Even in this recording here, we had some marching band people, we had some people from the Global Jazz Department, and we mixed them all together. And it's kind of like what BTS does, right? We mixed them all together to get one great thing, and I think we achieved it because the, the, the tracks are just phenomenal on this project. Thanks, you guys killed that. Woo. That was awesome. Right. There's so, one punch we gotta get. I just gotta get bar 24. R24? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Music, everything from the beat, the groove, which is vibration, and then of course, you know, a good lyric, you know, a good message. It's no one way to do it. That's why you have all these different great artists doing it in different ways. You know, has an effect on people. Yeah. So then we'll do the same thing, you know, just keep thinking of subdivisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm for the, the next section. Yeah, that, that tightened up really good. Yeah. I think it's absolutely fabulous what they're doing in terms of just really allowing people to be, have this kind of self-esteem. It really talks about songs of joy and hope. Oh. Yeah, I really dig them. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. So you got them on the right hand or the left hand? No. Left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, raise the roof with the left. <laughs> Anybody else need a pencil? Everybody good? Good. All right. So, guys, um, so tenors. I, would get, I guess it's just the goal, the overall goal of our groups. I mean, I think that BTS is 
they want to make everyone happy. They want to perform. They want to leave an impression on people, you know, and improve people. You know, as a band, we want to go out there and get everyone pumped up. We want to get everyone excited. You know, we're not just performing to make money. We give them something that can make them happier, make them live better lives. And I think both BTS and the UCLA Bruin Marching Band share that. Like, I, I don't know Korean, unfortunately. Or, I mean, they also sing in other languages. So I don't know very well the languages they sing in. Um, but when I see what the songs mean, I can definitely feel how heartfelt it is. And I can feel the emotion that they're conveying through their songs, regardless of the language. Dear America, thank you for embra embracing us. Thank you for hugging us. Thank you for accepting us. Um, the seven boys from Korea who sing us in Korea and who have even different looks, speak different languages. Um, you, but you guys truly proved us that music transcends the language looks. Well, music, as you know, is a universal language. No matter who you are, everyone can relate to good music. It brings people together. It's, there's power in music like nothing else to me. Um, to me, the arts is, should be a part of all society because we're all thinking about technology and finances and stuff. Like, I think music in general is like the thing that balances everything out. A few months ago, actually, um, when I was just going through kind of a rough time, I was just having trouble finding myself, questioning my own abilities, my own passions, my own friends one day and the song Epiphany really stuck out to me. The words like love yourself just like really touched me, really about finding yourself and loving yourself before, you know, loving other people. Just unsure of who I was and hearing that like other people were going through something similar meant so much to me and so I started listening to them more and um, yeah so they do really mean a lot to me now. I think anybody who's listening to this music now as they grow up it's going to stay with them for the rest of their lives. If there's a song or a lyric or there's a beat or a rhythm that you really resonate with, you're always going to put that on. It really takes me to a different place. So that whole question about music and healing, music, how has it changed you, I think they're all kind of related. So for BTS, I think it's going to, that is going to have value for everybody on an individual basis. That really transcends any physical. The healing power of music is definitely something that people need to tap more into it, especially as we age. I think it's been since 2016, maybe 15. It might be, might have been about four years now. And they were only here for the one, the one project, and then we've done things remotely for them, which has been wonderful. It's been, um, it's been great. I'm so glad to be part of all of it. It's been wonderful. No, 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 Yeah.
Ja. Ja, ja gue kipar lo. I'm so sad Bang wasn't able to be here, but um, great to see all y'all. Well, I think the fact that the cultural bridge, right? We're doing things, especially for this for this project, but the cultural bridge, I think, by bringing in something that I would argue is is fairly uniquely American, a marching band, in common, other than love for music and the way that music moves people and influences people. But I think the the productions themselves are really well done. I think um, has done an, an amazing job on the tracks and embracing too something that, it, like I said, is uniquely um, American, a marching band. Well done. Good Yay. job. Good thank job. Thank you so much. No, thank likewise. You. Thank you. Yeah, well done. All right, so we got to yes, keep the drums gotta, down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and we got to... Music has the ability to really um, put you in a good space, in a good environment, really make you feel like you are important and that you are valued in this society, in this world, that you belong in this in this universe. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thanks again. All right. That's it. Does anybody have any questions or comments? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, 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 not, not to rush everybody, but we've got a gospel choir coming in right behind you. Oh, I'm out. Well, again, uh, I'm all about inclusive and inclusivity. A marching band does that. You know, it sometimes kids that maybe don't even want to play music for a living, but they need some kind. Everybody needs to be part of some kind of group, and everyone comes together to make this one thing very special, whether it be a halftime show or a concert or whatever, it's the bringing people together, making them feel important about it, and, and and giving them a purpose to to uh, achieve and do better in life. You know, I would say music is kind of the uh, body's natural endorphin. It just naturally knows how to heal. Um, it knows how to uh, put us back in check and allows me a reality check for me. And I need that a lot of times because it really does change people's lives, as you can tell. The joy, I think that's why everyone loves BTS and gravitates towards BTS so much because they have such a joy and love for what they do that it's infectious. depression before yeah I experienced depression before and I didn't know what it was um, but the thing that definitely got me through when I felt like I didn't want to get out of bed or that I didn't want to do anything music was always the thing that kept me calm kept me peaceful and even motivated me to just get on and keep going like I said I'm inspired by music and I'm inspired by artists who are genuine, who are real, and who truly love what they do, and they understand the power of music. And BTS, if you watch them perform live, there is so much joy, so much fun, and so much love that it it truly is transcendent, and it truly is infectious. And so that's what I gravitate towards. That's why I appreciate what they do. That's why I love what they do. And I think that's why the world loves what they do because there is a passion, joy, and love for the arts. The 
a language barrier for sure. You know, I may not understand everything that's being said, but you understand the passion. Um, you understand the concept and the energy. I think the positivity, even though I wasn't understanding the language at first, the positivity touched me. They made an impact before I even knew who they were. So, yeah, definitely. Definitely, because there's a lot of people in the U.S. who have never been outside of the U.S. and would never know what K-pop was if they hadn't broken that barrier and brought us into their world. And also at the same time, get you excited for the future of music. And I think that's why it's changing the culture in which how we listen to music and what we listen to here in the States. You are my soulmate. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My man, bring it up. So good. Thank you all. Thank you so much. The power of music is that it connects everybody. Um, it also is powerful because music can change your situation, you know, and it connects people all, all around you. And I see that, with, like I said, I keep saying that with BTS, one of the things that I'm excited about them is how they're pulling everybody together. In a, in a time where it seems like the world is going the opposite. So we need people like that, and we need groups like that, that are bringing people together, not separating them and keeping them apart. Especially at a time in our nation right now where everybody's trying to be isolated. Some of the problems that we have in the world today are going to take a global approach. You know what I mean? It's going to take everybody to pull together to defeat some of the crises that we're having in the world today. And if you can bring people together, like I think, like they're doing, I think that that's a step in the right direction for sure.